Welcome back to another video guys. This is episode 5 I believe of our road to £5,000 profit series and my god was it a big job. We had this massive patio to clean as well as a fairly large sized driveway probably about the same sort of size. Um, I'll be honest with you with this one um, we started at 8 we finished at 6.45 so it was a long old day by the back end of the day. Um, the filming took the back seat um, over the getting the job done. Um, so there's not as many clips as the driveway saying that the driveway wasn't as um, satisfying to watch. Um, but you'll see the final product to the end. Um, the driveway was more of like a D-weed, D-moss situation, whereas the patio did come up really nicely. Um, the property was going on the market on the Tuesday. This was the Saturday. Without further ado, enjoy the video and stick around to the end to see how much we charged and how much profit we made. Welcome back to another video guys, it's Ryan from Curbside Cleaning and we have got a huge job today. Um, I'll quickly start you in the corner of over here. You might have seen from the drone shots, um, it's a fairly big, big size. So the uh, driveway goes all the way over here, it's quite mossy. Basically the property is going on the market. The photos are being taken on Tuesday, today is Saturday. So we are going to get it all cleaned up. Um, we won't be able to get it re-sanded today, but we can get it looking 100 times. GoPro turned itself off because of low battery, even though it says 45%, it's a bit strange. But then anyway, we're going to come and do the back as well. So yeah, patio comes. Got a little bit round here. Um, and it just runs <coughs> runs down to there I've got Dan with me today so um, we're hoping to sort of just be continuously cleaning um, otherwise I'm not sure if we'll get it done today but worst case I will have to pop back tomorrow so yeah the back is a lot more weedy the front is a lot more mossy um, absolutely gorgeous garden but it comes all the way around here Obviously we'll be going round the hot tub, which is a shame really because it will be being moved. Um obviously when they when they leave. Um and then this bit down here. This little circle here, we'll probably start at this bit um, and then work our way this way. And then just up there to the edge of the house. Um, oh, I'll quickly go with that. Again, up here quite mossy. Um, and it finishes just there, so we haven't got to like, sort of fight our way around the side there. But yeah, should be nice and straightforward. Um, just a very big job. Um, but we're going to get finished getting set up and get started. Um, we'll jump straight into it. See you in a sec.
We noticed recently that only a small percentage of our viewers actually subscribe to our channel. So if you do like the content, please consider subscribing guys. It's free and it takes half a second. We've run out of water, so um, I've got Dan to start doing the chemical just by hand for now, and uh, we'll see how it comes up.
So we're about 20 minutes into the video guys um, and I was looking at the footage from the driveway and I've decided there's not enough usable footage to create a video of its own. Um, so I've thrown in some time lapse stuff here um, of the stuff that I thought was usable. Um, again, the driveway was sort of, it didn't really change colour much. So it was a lot more of a sort of a maintenance job, weeding and mossy, mossy sort of driveway that um, needed doing. Again, the customer just wanted it all looking nice, ready for going on the market, uh, being start next week. We actually ended up trying a few different cleaning methods when doing this driveway. So this half of it we pre-treated first, um, just to see if there was a massive difference. Um, my opinion is there's not a massive difference at all, uh, and it's much better to just clean it and then treat it afterwards. Um, central bit we done sort of surface cleaner first, rinse down with the turbo to get anything that the surface cleaner couldn't get. Again, no no real difference at all. It's all sort of the same the same stuff when you're dealing with mossy and weedy block paving. Um, but what we'll do now is we'll jump over to the spreadsheet um, and go through the, the what we charge, the costs, the discounts, all that sort of stuff, and how much profit we made. See you in a sec. If you enjoy our content, guys, please subscribe. It really does help us grow the channel and bring you more content. Plus, it's free. We have also just launched our channel membership, so if you want to get involved with that, check out the link in the description. Back to the video. Right, so I've got to try and remember exactly what these numbers were for that I've written down, but um, this total job was 475 square metres. Now for a job like this, we would normally charge four pound a square metre, which puts us at roughly 1,900 pound um, for the initial job. Now, personally, I think that's more than, a higher amount of money than anyone needs for a day's worth of work. So although it's a fair size, we did um, knock off £700 uh, initially for that for a discount. Paid down £150, um, also paid him an additional £60 to go back and re-sand that job at a later date. £60 in um, sodium hypochlorite, there's two barrels that we used. £30 in fuel for the pressure washer, as a whole barrel of... of um, whole jerry can of fuel and then 15 pounds getting to the job it was about 45 minutes away so they're back and um, which leaves us with just over 800 pound profit in that job and on 2463 pounds profit for the series hope you enjoyed watching guys catch you in the next one and um, where hopefully we can head over the halfway point towards our goal of 5000 pound profit see you in the next one